Hey everybody, Anish Majumdar here, career coach to the Fiercely Ambitious, and I'm about to head into a pretty big meeting from, for me, uh, a pretty important one. So I wanted to take this moment to dash off a quick video about something that arises a lot. It arises for me, I'm sure it arises for you, stress, anxiety. How do you deal with that right before something that could potentially change your life or change your career? So what I want to do is I want to share with you uh, a different way of looking at anxiety and a couple of practical tips that I myself use every single day to uh, manage that in a very practical way. I hope that you can start using this right, right from the get-go immediately. So let me go back in history a little bit and go back to my long ago days as an actor. Uh, in my 20s, uh, I was a film and TV actor and um, I had big, big problems with anxiety. I mean, going up on that stage, making that happen, uh, right before I was freaking out. You know, I, I was really, really having some real, real trouble there. So one time a teacher saw me, you know, just, just freaking out, like in my, in, in my bubble, physically just sort of in here, you know, just locked in. Uh, and uh, he said, Anish, anxiety is energy. Stress is a kind of energy. It's up to you whether you decide to look at that as an obstacle that you've got to like push through or a friend, something that you can ride, ride the wave, ride the wave, he kept saying, you know, when you feel anxious, ride the wave. In fact, you know, actors, they get in trouble not when they're feeling anxious. In fact, the best actors out there, I promise you, they're dealing with that anxiety. They're dealing with that stress. Where actors fall into trouble and where we all fall into trouble is when the stress falls away, when you don't have that stress, because the stress is the fuel that allows greatness to shine. If you don't have that, there's something wrong. And probably, when it comes to your career, if you're not feeling some degree of stress, some degree of uncertainty, some, some feeling that it's not going to work, then probably you've set your, your target too low. You gotta shoot higher, okay? There's gotta be some risk of failure in order for this thing to have any meaning. And, um, and so I learned that as an actor, you know, that, that, that you've got to have that. You've got to have that, 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 that energy. But I know that when you're dying, you know, from uh, anxiety and stress and nervousness, riding the wave is not ex always exactly the perfect, uh, the perfect, hi Christy, is not, is not, is not always the perfect uh, solution there. So here's the thing, all right? Tip number one, this is just something I use, all right? When, when I'm feeling really stressed, right before something important happens, Stay physical and active right up as close to the actual time of the meeting or the event as you can. In other words, a big problem that people make is they say to themselves, okay, I got this thing coming up, right? I got this big presentation coming up, this big meeting, this thing, there's a lot of money on the line here. Uh, I'm going to prepare. I'm going to analytically prepare um, for... Uh, you know, you know, you know what's coming and, and, and what I'm going to do. And so they're taking notes. They are uh, struggling with it. They're thinking. They're using that part of their brain all the way into the meeting. And the problem with that is, preparation only takes you so far. Okay, when the game needs to be played, preparation needs to end. Which means that when you get to that point where you are ready to go, let all the preparation go. All right, stay physical, walk around, hit the gym, do whatever you gotta do, all right? But when the time comes for this thing, you can't be in preparation mode. You gotta let everything that you've learned go, and you've just got to say, I'm improv now, all right? I don't know where it's gonna go, and I'm gonna hope that what I've prepared for is gonna, is gonna tide me through. So stop preparing on the day of, stop preparing, all right? Just stay active. Stay totally, totally, totally active. I mean, do whatever you got to do. You know, I'm like a bit of a bike fiend, uh, so I'll take my bike out and I will literally ride the bike up until the time that I've got to go and go to this thing. Don't spend time in waiting rooms. Don't spend time with yourself and your own thoughts. Just get out there and stay active. And, and here's another little tip, by the way. If you've got a meeting somewhere, um, arrive a little bit early. And then honestly, just like walk around, you know, but stay active, but don't get, get into your head. This is the time for you to snap out of your head because the more in your head you are during a high stakes situation, I promise you that's where the real mistakes come, okay? So stay active, stay active, stay active. You know, even if it means like going to the bathroom and doing some power poses or whatever you gotta do, all right? Whatever your thing is, keep the rituals physical and active right up until the moment that you've got this big thing. Here's the second thing. 
a little mantra for you, and I promise you, those who know me, I am not a, a deeply you know, psychological guy. I don't really believe in that stuff in, in a lot of ways. I'm a practical guy, but this has helped me. When I feel that energy in myself, that stress, right? And I'm, I'm a couple of minutes away from, from going into something that, that's pretty stressful. When I feel that, now is the time for me to return to what my teacher said. And he said, ride the wave. When I feel that energy, this is not something that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to defeat. This is not something I'm trying to avoid. And I'm not going to certainly go into a meeting and stuff like that feeling like I've got to hide that I, that I don't have that. I feel this, and this can either manifest itself as stress, or it can manifest itself as the energy that takes me to a whole other level. And that is really, 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 really key. Because you've got to learn that this energy can be harnessed. And this energy, in that moment, when you're face to face, can be the thing that takes you to a whole other level. Let me give you a quick example to wrap this up, okay? I was recently coaching uh, a woman who was having trouble with her job search. You know, she uh, had all these qualifications, she had all that stuff going on, but uh, she wasn't making it all the way through. You know, she, she, so she found herself again in this situation. She felt that stress. She was thinking for the first time in her life, I'm not gonna fight this thing, I'm gonna use this thing. And she's there in that face to face. And she's asked those questions, you know, what's the biggest failure that you've had? The same stuff, you know, that, dr that had driven her crazy times before. But because she was in that mode, for the first time, she answered in a way that was so deeply honest. It said, you know, here's a situation where I really did not get along with someone. You know, we were not on the same page. We had two totally different uh, ways of looking at this thing. And she honestly talked about how she made that work. She honestly talked about the fact that not everything does work and we don't live in a perfect world, you know? And you don't live in a world where you can be magically stress-free. It's all right, it's okay. But she used that energy to take her to another level. And so please know this, all right? There is no greatness without great stakes. Stakes are the thing that you need. So don't fear that fear, all right? Use that fear and let it know that it is taking you. It's sending you a little signal, okay? It's saying, now is your chance to hit something way higher. Let me know what worked for you. What are your, what, what's your, what's your anti-stress regimen? I wanna know. Hey, Robert, uh, what is your stress? What is the thing that drives you crazy and what do you use to uh, defeat that? I'd really love to know. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon.